Hey, ride along. So I am going to do a grocery haul. Well, guess what? Guess where I got the groceries from? I was going to say the food bank, which kind of is true, but the food bank via a church. So I'm going to show y'all what they gave me. All right. And, and for you ask, no, it ain't no shame in my game. I ain't too proud of it. But I don't feel like I should need to, being that I have worked and paid into the system for over 30 years, retired, and so on and so forth. But here we go box of chips. This is a 50 bag. And these are the good ones too. Cheetos, Doritos, um, Funyuns. Where are my glasses so I can read? Yeah, let me check dates and stuff and make sure. See if I see a date. So, um, I see a date. Oh, here we go. Used by October 8, 2024. So, I don't know how we're going to use 50 bags by October 8th or, but you do know that stuff can go longer than the used by date. So, and here's the thing. If you open it, it ain't good. You don't eat it. It's just that simple. All right. <laughs> um, eggs, 18 count eggs. Now I eat eggs every day. So I don't know what date is on this, but it really don't matter. Ten, by 10, 13, 2024. So I can assure you these will be gone by uh, next week. Um, let's see. This is a bag of produce. Oh, okay. Ooh. So nice big sweet potatoes. So what I would do is wash these and bake these and freeze these to be able to use for sweet potato pies next month for the holiday. Um, this is a box of squash. Same thing out. Ooh, wow, this is a whole box, so I might be giving out a little squash to somebody who can use them, but yeah, we eat squash around here. We can definitely use those in my smoothies and just use them, cook them with, um, steam them with some, or stir fry with onions and what have you. Let's see what else we got here. Just another, ooh, it's enough. Another bag of sweet potatoes, so. Won't be no shortage of sweet potato pies this year for sure. Um, some bread. I don't eat a lot of things, but my son, who did not get housed in this semester, does. And so, let's get a date on the bread. Regular white hoagie bread and Members Mark, which is Sam's Club, right? Um, used by the 26th. Best if used by the 26th. Today is the whatever day, so we'll start using them. <laughs> All right, and then, then this is the box that you traditionally get you see at the food bank. Uh, let's see. All right. First thing I see, probably the only meat that's in here, pork lawn center chopstick. So might throw those up and can cook those tomorrow, along with some squash and onions and some, some sweet potatoes. <laughs> um, pinto beans, whole grain brown rice, and then canned canned goods and peanut butter. So. Peanut butter, natural ingredients. All right, it is closed. Best before June 24th, so this is already beyond. But I might just try this out, let y'all see if it's if it tastes like it's any good. Um, peaches, green beans, and can stuff will last forever. This is 2026. This is 2026. That's a green green beans already. Yeah. More peaches. All of this is saying 2026. Corn. Corn. More peaches. What is this? Oh, white chicken. So I can make me some chicken salad. One of my favorites. So two cans of chicken chick uh, chicken. 2026. 2026. Two cans of tuna. Um, what's the date? 2028. And 28. And then the last thing in here is some chicken broth. And it's 2025. So, all right, that is my food bank haul. I'm okay with it. I mean, I just got to put in a little work with these uh, potatoes and this squash. But hey, it is what it is. It's free. I'm counting it as a blessing. Bye, y'all. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this and try this, this peanut butter. So, this is the oil that you know is on the top. Smells all right. And if y'all know anything about what they call commodity food or welfare food back in the day, 
It used to have that peanut butter used to have the oil on top. What y'all remember about that? If you want to get your hot pot top, you, you pull my grandma oil off of her. It's hard to stir. <laughs> oh Lord. But I ain't gonna try it. So I need to rush the rest of the hospital. Y'all come get me to the hospital. <laughs> That peanut butter is fine. It's actually good too. I don't even know what brand this is, but this is really good. Yeah, this peanut butter is just fine. And I, like I said, it said June 24th, but this it, there's nothing wrong with this. Absolutely nothing wrong with this peanut butter. Bye, y'all. Oh, yeah, before y'all go there, yes, I double dipped in it. So, you all just put my name on it. Um, My daughter don't think it's diet food, but I have to tell my son, don't eat it. And there it is. So this is all mine. You don't have to worry about nobody going behind me. And we've got plenty of other peanut butter in the pantry. These are my sweet potatoes. Clean, washed, patted dry, and um, pricked with a fork to bake. Yeah, and this is some of these over here. These are the thicker ones. So I'll bake these probably about 40, 45 minutes. And this is maybe 45, I mean 50 minutes to maybe even an hour. Because this one right here is real thick. So, all righty. So here are my baked sweet potatoes. I'm going to get them frozen. And I ended up doing a Walmart order last week and ordered some bags. And I think they substituted because when I got this, I was like, who in there? I know I didn't order no 80 bags. So, but as it turns out, this is exactly what I'm going to need by the time I get these bagged up as well as all the squash. So, yeah. And you see where you um, punctured them, all that sweet potato juice. The syrup, as I call it, but they're still good. And I've put them in the freezer. Don't peel them. And then when you get ready to um, make your pies, unthaw them and then peel them and then, you know, do everything you do with make sweet potato pies. Yeah, these slide right out of the peel. So I think I'm not going to freeze this and I think I'm going to head up for dinner tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So I froze about three or four bags of squash full. And this is a big. Um, frying pan full of squash and onions and I still had this much left that I didn't freeze so I may, I may make some kind of squash casserole this week but yeah which I know what it look like when they get done my squash is done I cook it till it's um not squished not um, mushy but just like firm and tender enough just a little bit firm but not to the point where it's mushy but it is ready 